I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Hey guys, thanks for watching and welcome back. So we have another Battle Box review for y'all. Every month they send a new box and every month I open a new one for you guys. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and check out the link in the description box if you want to find out more about Battle Box. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. So there are different versions of this box. If you get the Pro Plus, you'll get all of these other variants included, but if you don't wanna pay $149 a month, if you just wanna pay $99 a month or close to 50 or 25, then you can do that. But obviously you get a, a lot of value for each of those uh, different options. First and foremost, the smell that's just hitting me right in the face is the uh, smell of napalm and ironically it is the first thing i'm uh, smelling this morning it's actually really uh, kind of funny so i already opened up this box earlier took all the packaging off so i wasn't fiddling with them i got to see what was inside so front towards enemy i think that's pretty cool that uh, kind of a claymore um, yep here it goes it says claymore soap it is very potent like i said so just be careful where you're placing your napalm which is very fitting for this type of thing. <laughs> All right, so moving on. Um, so that was the grenade soap. There's also a 511 hat in here, which is kind of like a, like a trucker style hat. It's got mesh, so it's gonna be pretty breathable, especially in the warmer months, so that's pretty cool. Also has a little place to put a, uh, like a Velcro morale patch, a little small one. Also a camp cooking book, which is right here, and it's got, looks like, some pictures too and uh, I like pictures yeah I think I will look into this especially uh, as I begin to camp more and more I love the fall months for camping and then what are the other things in the basic box there's also this thing which is a bushcraft grill a lot of different ways to use a bushcraft grill or camping grill so however you want to grill, this is just gonna make it easier to, just to use the fire itself to uh, cook your food and get that food as close as you want to the flames. And I, I really like the wax canvas pouch as well. Okay, I think that's everything that is in the basic box. Moving on to what's inside the advanced box. I'm actually pretty excited about these because I really like these uh, tripod chairs. This is a travel chair, and I think you guys have seen these before, probably in like Cabela's or Walmart in the outdoor section. But basically, it's just like its name applies. It, it looks like a, a little stool. So I always keep these in my uh, in my car, so they don't take up a lot of room. That's like like some of the other camping chairs do. And then a thermoplastic repair ribbon, which I don't see myself using too too often. So basically the way this works is that you take this ribbon and then you can form it up whatever you wanted to put around. So you can use it for first aid, you can use it for tent repairs or anything like that. You know, kind of anything you would use duct tape for as well. And then after you do that, um, you heat it up and then it will uh, stay in place. So kind of a cool, um, unique, item to have and i think this would be good like i said for for tent repair or last case scenario in first aid if, if need be so that's everything inside of the advanced box we're just burning through this in the pro box we have a knife sharpener which i'm pretty excited about i think i might put this in the, in the kitchens because i have so many sharpeners these days but uh, it says classic 2 v sharp warthog sharpener and you more or less uh, take the knife and then you pull through, push down and pull through. Oh, yep, sleeping emotion. And then that's gonna sharpen your knife. And then last but not least, there's a knife and I have not taken this out yet, but this is from Will Willemsen, Copenhagen or something to that effect. So I've never heard of this brand, which I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I've not held this knife yet. But I do like the jimping that I feel right here on the spine of the blade. I like the, the swedge right there. I'm not a huge fan of this group, um, but maybe that's just preliminary. I just feel like that's 
going to cause a hot spot, although I don't feel like it's causing a hot spot right now. I just don't like um, extra things happening just for the sake of design rather than function, but maybe that's just me being too critical. Has a pretty good feeling to it when it goes in, and this is a very interesting design. It has two fasteners, which I'm not sure how that works. Sorry, I'm not trying to be too critical, but with knives, I, I don't really know. So you're going to take this and take this, and then it's going to potentially... I guess it would work if... See, that's the thing is this has I'm not a huge fan of this knife or, or the sheath that goes with it this feels kind of cheap right here these are going to wear away pretty pretty quickly but basically if you unfasten these and it's on your belt it's going to kind of fall over so I, I kind of hate the sheath the knife isn't too too bad but it's probably not one that I'm ever going to bring outdoors for all the reasons that I just mentioned but yeah guys, looks like the knife has OS 8 steel, but yeah, these are the kind of things that happen in battle boxes or any monthly subscription service is that there are going to be things that appeal to you that don't appeal to other people and there are going to be things that appeal to other people that don't appeal to you. As far as my personal takeaway, I actually think that this is not a bad box overall. Uh, I already talked about my feelings around the knife, but your perception of this knife might be different than mine. But uh, that's just my two cents. I liked all the other items in this box, and I see myself using a lot of the items. I don't know if I will use the ribbon repair tape too much, but I also don't bring a lot of repair items with me when I go camping, and I do want to start changing that. So um, pretty much all the other items I can see myself using, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And y'all stay safe out there. And remember, it pays to be prepared. God bless.